Okay, so this is where the AI and programming starts in the office. So we'll just uh, make me a little, quite a bit smaller there. And I'll show you the general process of getting the uh, AI language. Excuse me, not looking at the camera, but I'm looking at the screen. Okay, so we're going to fetch up the Word document. Now, it's just very simple. So what you do is you just type in the words that you require um, AI to say and just get Windows to say it and record the sound on your computer, which I'm sure you all know how to do. Tool Z0 complete. Okay, so there's that phrase. And this is the next phrase. Three, two one okay so the reason why i've done this in individual lines because because if you if you do this in um let's say one two three if you do it like this on one line it'll say it too quickly one two three okay so as opposed to you want a second delay. So you want this to take three seconds. So you you you, you split it into individual lines. And three, two, one. It just saves a, a lot of mucking around uh, later on down the track. So you have your, your base language then. So we'll drop that down out of the way. And we'll move me over here. I'm going to disappear actually for a minute or two while I pull this video audio editing up that I use, I find it very good. Okay, so this is the audio file. As you can see, I've just um, recorded it directly off my computer screen. So let's um, snip it down to size. So what you do is tools easy. Okay. So I want to cut that and, and we'll bring it down here onto the storyboard and we're going to expand that so we can see what we're, we're doing. Uh, we don't want this part here. So we want it short, short and sweet. So we're going to cut that there and delete that bit. Take that there. Complete. Okay, bring that there. Split, highlight, delete, and we are left with. Tools E zero complete. Okay, so that's our first phrase. And now we need to save that. Now you've got to save this in a particular file. Um, for Mac 3 or the script in, or, or computer language to understand. Okay, so we're going to export that. And... Bring it down here, and it's a wave format. Okay, anything to do with com in computer language, uh, it's a wave format. MP3 won't understand it, won't work. Okay, so I save that to the desktop and save. So that's our first phrase. We'll save that. Uh, you can see I've actually already uh, done it here. But I don't want to mix the files up, so we go um, one, two, three, X. So it recognizes it as a different file. Start, playlist, small. Take that into the playlist. 
open that up and we have three two one so that's our phrase three okay so we just roughly crop it here and we'll take this down to the timeline and we will expand it okay let's see what sort of timeline we've got here three two one We'll crop it here. Uh, actually, let's do it up here first. So we get the timing right. A little bit over three seconds. One. I don't think anybody. Well, she actually speaks one on the third second. So I'm going to be okay with that. So we have. Three, two, one. Of course we can actually alter the timing of this if we come here and go um, zero point nine apply actually we needed to go the other way so 1.1 1 .1. 1 1.1 so it's going to take the pitch up very slightly that's exactly three seconds now it'll take the pitch up very slightly three two one Sounds like a different person, doesn't it? So, you know, you can play around with the pitch of the voice, you know, as much as you like to make it sound whatever you want. But that's roughly how to do it, and how to get the timing right. Uh, so we are going to export that as a WAV file export desktop done and it is really as simple as that you know I've been doing this sort of thing for many years so it's easy for me <laughs> okay but you know AI really is uh, is still human generated uh, you just uh, you know allow a computer uh, different variables um, and it is artificial intelligence you know it's not um, you know conscious intelligence then put it that way okay our files are here let's just bring it over here so we have them we'll just check them out choose zero complete Okay, so that's that one. And three, two, one. Okay, so we have our files, and that's how to create those files. Okay, so let's pull some of the script up. And this is only a very, very small portion of the script. Um, and look, I will explain up on the machine. Um, about these um, figures here um, 
look, these are the variables uh, that you need to actually alter to suit your machine and the variables that you are comfortable with. Um, it, you can use this on either metric or inches. The program will automatically pick up uh, in Mac 3 what you were using. You don't have to change anything there. Uh, it'll automatically pick it up. Uh, I'll explain these in a couple of minutes up on the machine so uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And why I brought this up for you is to show you that, um, well, and this is only just a very, very small section uh, of the script, and this is where it's uh, brought into the script. Um, of course, I've been writing pro of computer language for many, many years. It's about 1978. So, yeah, a long time. So, in Mac 3, this is uh, where it recognizes, you know, whether you want sound, beep, beep or squeak, right, equals 2. Well, if you want nothing, well, you, you would put a zero here. Uh, if you just want it to normal beep from Mac 3, you would put a figure one here. And if you want it to speak, you put two. This is the, the file which recognizes the actual script that we just, the, the file the audio file that we just made, or the WAV audio file location. All right, so it's in your C drive, Mac 3, and that's its actual, uh, should we say, its address. Okay, so you just put it into Mac 3 and don't worry about it. Okay. You don't have to sort of make up the address or anything like that. And, you know, there is many, 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 many different lines of code. <laughs> okay, so that's all you, you need to be concerned about is this here and altering whether you, you wish to have um, uh, speech or not. Okay. And that script will be available. So basically, that is uh, how to put a little bit of AI into Mac 3. Like I say, it's probably over 45 hours work in getting that script together and actually making it work. So, um, oh, something I, I will tell you too is. In the um, in Mac 3, in the um, in the general configuration window, you will need to t just click two boxes, uh, and that is turn on uh, wave recognition, and actually turn on that you want Mac 3 to recognize uh, speech. Okay, so that's in the general configuration in uh, Mac 3. So that's the only things you need to do. Okay then, so we will go back up to the workshop. <laughs> <laughs>